Hurricane Katrina caused major damage to the city of New Orleans and its population. One of the worst and most destructive events in modern America was worsened by slow government response. The city's poor suffered the most. The poor were disproportionately African American. It is often social inequality that affects who is most impacted by disasters. In this module, we will explore why this is. We'll also explore the history and legacy of racism. Race and racism is a difficult topic of conversation. The United States is a country that likes to think of itself as colorblind. With the election of Barack Obama, some declared that we now live in a post-racial society. But is racism really gone? We've made progress, but incidents like Katrina can uncover deep-seated racial segregation and show that unfortunately racism is still a problem. Races are social categories, not biological categories. Genetically, we are nearly identical. All humans share approximately 99.9% .9 identical DNA. Racial characteristics are based on superficial phenotypic differences, most notably skin color. Modern Western races are the result of Europe's colonial era, when Europeans classified the people they came into contact with based on the color of their skin. Race as biological categories cannot be defended. We will cover the basis of why this is. Even so, race is largely perceived as a biological reality among Westerners. Real or not, race has been hugely influential in the modern world. We will examine the roots of this influence and the inherent contradictions of the flawed biological notion behind race. In this module, we'll ask the following questions. Do biologically separate races exist? How is race constructed around the world? How is race constructed in the United States? What is racism? 